So this is the first time that I've tried to make matar paneer and it turned out to be pretty good. So here is the recipe. All you have to do is heat up some oil in a pan and add two medium sized chopped onions into it. Also add 4 cloves of garlic and a small piece of ginger. Stir it around for a while until the onions turn golden brown in colour. As soon as that is done, uh, you need to add 5 chopped tomatoes and stir it around for a while. Add a tablespoon of salt to speed up the cooking process. Set this mixture aside and let it cool down. Once it cools down, you need to blend it into a paste. After blending it, heat up some oil in another pan or kadhai, add a tablespoon of jeera or cumin seeds, half a teaspoon of haldi or turmeric powder and a tablespoon of dhania powder or coriander powder, some red chilli powder and one green chilli finely chopped up. Stir this mixture around till the masalas get cooked. Also add a tablespoon of kasuri methi. Now add one onion which has been finely chopped and cook it for a while. Add the paste which we had blended earlier. Also add half a cup of additional water and stir the mixture. Cook it till it boils and then add a cup and a half of frozen peas. Add half a tablespoon of roasted cumin powder just to enhance the flavour. added some additional water, just half a cup, because I did not want my curry to be extremely thick. You can also add additional salt if you like, you can give it a taste test. Finally, you can add in 300 grams of paneer cubes into the gravy. And you might also notice that the peas make the gravy taste a bit sweet which is, I think, the best part of matar paneer. You can also add in some cream if you like, but I'm going to keep it a bit healthy. Cook it for 5-10 to 10 minutes so that the paneer completely absorbs the gravy. So I'm starting to learn how to cook Indian food and I'm also starting to notice the spices and the combinations used in Indian recipes. So I will be coming up with new videos on basic Indian recipes. Thank you.